this is the theme that keeps coming through, the fact that people are struggling while bosses are getting paid so much more and people are being told you shouldn't ask for inflation for pay, big pay rises because they would be inflationary. Well, I'd like to just come back to what James said about the, the skills of the, of the CEOs and the, the comparison with football, which I think is a bit of a side issue because football is a genuine meritocracy. Uh, you know, you can get your foot in the door in football because of who your dad knows or whatever, but you don't, um, you don't get to the very top that way. Whereas I think the sort of skills required to get to the top of the company and research does show this, that it's often you know, people who are like people who are already at the top of the, the company who so know the kind of codes. Right, exactly. Um, people are good at executive roles because uh, they've been imbued with the education, uh, the training, the networks, the confidence to do those roles. So that if there is such a shortage of uh, people capable of filling them that we need to, you know, give them such an extraordinary share of the country's wealth, depriving that share of the wealth from, from other people, then the issue is about sort of how many, why aren't we giving more people uh, that kind of opportunity. The other thing is about the sort of global mobility of the executive mm. class, which is Thank hugely you. exaggerated. It's very easy to go from Manchester United to Paris Saint-Germain. For a British CEO to go and run a German or American company in a totally different corporate context, it's very hard and actually the evidence shows it doesn't happen that often, so I okay. think we could get away with paying them a bit less without seeing this sort of exodus.